What's up, Glassy Gang? It is Glassy, and we're back with some more gaming type news. Anyway, before we go ahead and get the video, make sure you give us a like. Throw a comment down there. You can tell us how your day was, or you can tell us what your shoe size is. I really don't care. Today, we're going to be talking about how E3 for 2022, both digitally and physically, has been completely and officially canceled. So after previously canceling its in-person E3 2022 event, the ESA has now informed its partners that there will be no digital event equivalent this year either. Meaning it's E3 2022 has fully been cancelled. So the news broke via a tweet from Razer PR leader Will Powers, who said an email that sent out announcing the cancellation of a digital E3 event. IGN has independently verified the contents of the email as well. The ESA had initially planned for an in-person E3 event this year after having no event in 2020 due to COVID-19 and a digital one in 2021. However, this was cancelled in January, with the ESA at the time unable to make a public statement on whether or not there should be a digital equivalent. According to sources speaking to IGN at the time, Time, discussions around E3 had been fraught throughout the year, with third parties normally involved finding ESA's ongoing silence regarding their plans frustrating. Sources connected to the event tell IGN that discussions about a possible digital event have been ongoing ever since, but without strong momentum to drive them. Instead, the ESA seems to have been making plans to regroup for a larger comeback in 2023, and we'll see about that because, I mean, clearly if they're just going to keep pushing stuff off, it's going to happen there too. But with the recent update, it shows the ESA has shared an official statement with IGN confirming E3's 2022 cancellation and announcing that E3 will return in 2023 with, quote, a reinvigorated showcase. The ESA has also been uh, stating that we will devote all our energy and resources to delivering a revitalized physical and digital E3 experience next summer. Whether enjoyed from the show floor or your favorite devices, the 2023 showcase will bring the community, media, and industry back together in an all-new format and interactive interspace and interactive experience. We look forward to presenting E3 fans around the world live from Los Angeles in 2023. The ESA also adds that in 2022 showcase has been canceled so the organization can quote focus its resources on the 2023 show. It sounds like they either didn't have enough people, didn't want to pay enough people, or just didn't really know what to do. Either that or not really great games out this year. Now we are expecting some good games out later towards the end of the year. We're never going to see a Mario Kart 9 anytime soon, especially this year. If anything, they should, like I said, make Mario Kart All-Stars, which I made a video about that and you can go check that out on my channel because you know you want to and not only that but we will hopefully get breath of the wild sometime at the end of the year which i'm really looking forward to breath of the wild 2 that is actually but other than that we have no plans of a gta 6 right now we already know that they just made the announcement that they are working on it no rdr 3 so i mean what really is there to come out this year they had elden ring come out but what else is coming out i really don't know and if you know look at the comment section down below right after you go ahead and give that click button that likey likey lickety like and uh if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. But with all that being said, I love you guys. We'll see you next time. We're going to bring you back some more gaming news. I'm not sure if we're going to talk too much about Halo. It's, it's, it's dying. Halo's dying. Love you guys. I'll see you next time.